welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Rudy and thank you so much for being here. I know I just put out my December favorites and flops, but I really wanna get back on track, if you will, with making sure these come out at the beginning of the month because I'm behind. I've got a few product updates to go over with you guys, a few things that I've talked to you about in videos, but I've never really told you exactly how I feel about it. We've got some fails that we've also talked about and also a very expensive fail. But before we dive in, I wanted to tell you guys something kind of cool and exciting, and it's based on what I'm wearing. So I am wearing the new Rare Beauty um, Cream Blushes, and this is in the shade Nearly Neutral. Can we talk about the packaging? I mean, it is just absolutely adorable. It looks like a little clamshell. I'm obsessed with it. Anyways, on TikTok, I like to post, you know, like 60 second reviews of things. And then on YouTube, I like to really dive into it. So I posted a review on this kind of saying, I like it. I don't love it. Uh, you know, it doesn't have great lasting power and it's like a cream to powder finish, but it's unique. And would you know it, Rare Beauty commented on my TikTok. I was shocked. You guys know I don't really like work with many brands because I am the way I am and I like what I like and I'm not going to change that for anyone. But they said thank you for your honesty and then they reached out to me and asked if they could send me their other liquid blush. So I'm getting the other liquid blush in the mail from them so I can give you guys kind of a breakdown on which one might be better for you in the future but Stay tuned. I mean, that's kind of cool, right? Please don't forget to subscribe while you're here. We talk about more than just favorites and flops on this channel. We talk about skincare, beauty, mental health, vlogging. We do it all and I would love to have you join. First up is definitely a favorite of the month and of pretty much since I got it for Christmas. This is the First Aid Beauty Ultra Repair Wild Oat Hydrating Toner. I talked about this in my what I got for Christmas video and I hadn't really tried it too much then, but literally ever since I got it, I've been using it every single day. I don't really use toners very often just because I feel like they're not super necessary and it's kind of another step. However, you guys know that I love my Laneige Cream Skin and this is very similar and I dare to say I like it a little bit better. I'll show you guys what it looks like. I like to really shake it up and then it has a very milky color and consistency. Okay, that looks a little bit wrong, it's fine. And it is amazing for my dry and sensitive skin. Some of the, you know, calling out the best ingredients in here, we've got oat extract, of course, propolis extract, extract honey and hyaluronic acid. It's very simple. It smells kind of like oats, but it's completely, uh, you know, fragrance free. Everything about it is right up my alley as someone who is sensitive and dealing with, you know, tretinoin dryness. I really would recommend this if you're looking for something to kind of start your, you know, your routine off right. Love it so much. I can link it down below. This is an update favorite that I wanted to share with you guys. In my December favorites, I posted about the Gizu hair oil and how I had this tiny little sample of it and I had been trying it out. So I had asked a few people if I should buy the full size or if there were any other hair oils that I should try. And I came upon this one. This is the bread hair oil slash hair gloss. And let me just say, I am so glad that I bought this one instead of the Gizu. And I don't mean to throw you off because I know that that was in my favorites video last month. And it is a really nice hair oil. However, it literally doesn't hold a candle to this one. I kind of did some research on different hair oils and the Gizu hair oil has a lot of silicone in it, which can kind of get heavy on your hair. And my hair is already very fine. So I was looking for something that was silicone free and I came along this brand on Sephora. I also found out that this is a black owned beauty brand. I am so happy to support a black owned brand and tell you guys about this product. So originally created for curl types 3A through 4C, so if that's you, definitely try this. This works on every single hair type. So they, they talk about it on the packaging that you can use this in between washes, which is what I do. You can use it as a deep conditioning mask or you can use it daily if you have very curly hair. I use this about every other day when I'm in between washes and I just rub it through one or two drops through the palms of my hand and then really rake it through like this and it does not leave a greasy finish whatsoever. It just nourishes, it makes your hair look so shiny, so soft and bone points it smells like gummy bears like ugh, I don't know how to explain it it smells so good and to be honest with you I think this bottle is a little bit more aesthetic than the Gizu one so I am freaking loving this posting it down below I think you guys will really get a kick out of this no matter what hair type you have and if you're looking for an oil try this one out first flop of the year um <laughs> kind of already talked about the fact that this was a flop. This is the Bite Agave Plus Intensive Lip Mask. So I got this as a sample in a Sephora package and thank God I didn't buy the full size because I literally thought that this was expired. This is the stickiest, most thick, 
lip product I've ever tried. And I know that some people like it for that reason, but to me, I'm not gonna wear a product like this during the day. I'm only gonna wear it like before bed. And I can just imagine you wearing this and getting stuck to your pillowcase and getting like goopy goo, like agave honey style goo all over your bed and your sheets and your pillow. And if you're like me, like you don't sleep very gracefully, if you will. And so I just, I don't even know when to wear this. And the sucky part is I actually am dealing with some really dry lips right now, but here's a bonus favorite. I have been using the Neutrogena Norwegian hand cream and I use this on my hands and my lips and like elbows wherever. This will probably be talked about next month because I just got it, but I have enjoyed this, which is $3.99, way over the Agave lip mask. So to me, this was a huge fail. It's so sticky. The stick never goes away. Mm -mm, mm -mm. I like can't even get it off my hands. A favorite that I also mentioned in uh, my 2021 like resolutions video is the e.l.f. Flawless Brightening, Brightening Concealer. This is a pen style concealer and I do put it on in that video if you wanna see uh, you know, what it looks like in action, but this is very much a dupe for the YSL Touche Claw Concealer. The only thing that I don't like about it is that it is literally nothing. There is 0 0.07 fluid ounces in this. So pretty much half of or less than half of the size of a normal concealer. So if you really like it and use it every day, you're gonna fly through it. But it's only $5, so there's give and take there. It has the click up pen style product and it is definitely a low to medium, like barely medium coverage concealer. But for me, I like to wear that with a, you know, under eye corrector underneath it, which I've talked about a million times. And it just looks very beautiful and natural and it also also looks good on other areas of your face if you wanted to spot conceal instead of wearing a foundation. So I really, really like this. It's super inexpensive and I feel like if you need something to just kind of put on and go, this is perfect. A skincare favorite that my husband and I have both been loving and using this month is the lightning wand from Hero Cosmetics. It's funny, I feel like I don't hear very much about Hero Cosmetics on the YouTube space, but I see it on Instagram and on TikTok a lot. So I want to bring that over to YouTube because they have some amazing products. They are a newer brand and they sent me a package of pretty much everything they have. They sent me their Mighty Patches, their Lightning Wand. They have a Hero Post Blemish Mark. Uh, cream and honestly so far I've been liking everything everything is right up my alley it's made for you know healing acne and it's made with fragrance free and it's just it, it's really really nice stuff so let me talk about the lightning one you guys know I'm on tretinoin and if you don't know what that is that's an acne medication and so I don't really use a lot of other active ingredients in my routine because of that however when I do have a pimple or I'm dealing with you know PIE or post-inflammatory you know acne marks I would like to be able to apply something to help get rid of that specific spot without using something all over my face like a vitamin C and that's where the lightning wand comes in so this wand has vitamin C niacinamide and tran examic acid sorry I can never say that and basically what it is is this little ball this roller ball you press this little button here on the side and some of it starts to come out and then you roll it on your post inflammatory marks. So post acne, it's not meant to treat acne, it's meant to treat the spot once it's healed, which I think is really genius and really inventive and I really haven't seen that very often in the market. So basically all you do is apply the rollerball onto your dark spot and then you put sunscreen on top of it to protect your skin and it helps lighten your post acne marks. So I've really been liking this. My husband's been using it on his cystic acne once it's gone down and I feel like it's made a huge difference. So we've got a new good one. The expensive flop time has come and if you saw in my thumbnail it says that I'm going on a fragrance journey and I don't know if you guys are like this but I feel like once I've kind of set my sights on something I kind of go all out on it so for example with the hair like I got the new hair oil I bought the Dyson Airwrap I don't know if you guys saw that I talked about that on my community tab that I bought the Dyson Airwrap and I'm not gonna lie to you, it's been worth every penny so far. So if you want a video on that, let me know because I can kind of compare it to the Revlon Airwrap and all that jazz, we'll get there. Anyways, my current journey alongside hair is fragrances. If you guys saw my 10 things that I can't live without video, you'll know that the Chloe Nomad fragrance is my number one favorite and that still holds to this day. However, it's a very spring scent and I kind of wanted something a little bit more unisex, a little, you know, musky, dusty, trusty, 
that's not right. Something a little spicy and woody. And so I've kind of been on the hunt for that. And I also want something that's very unique. In terms of uniqueness, I think the brand that everyone thinks of when they hear that is Byredo. And I don't know if you have tried anything from them, but their perfume called Gypsy Water is their number one selling perfume. So I ordered uh, the perfume roller version of it, which is not this one, we'll get there, because I want to try it without buying an entire tub of it because I might not like it. Byredo has a horrible return policy. If you open it, you can't return it. So luckily in the package, I actually got a sample of the one that I bought so I could smell the sample before opening the other one. And it's not for me. It sucks that it's not for me, but it's not for me. Not only is the scent to me a little boring, it didn't last on my skin at all, like at all. And I tried so hard to make myself like it because I really want to, but I just can't. And so I ended up getting a few other samples from them. Moral of the story, the one that I landed on that I actually do like is this one called Ball d'Afrique. This is actually a mini of the perfume oil instead of the spray on. I was kind of hoping that it was just going to be a roll on ball, but it's actually an oil. And I've never really dabbled in perfume oils before. And I'm learning that if you put the oil on the front of your arms where your hair is on your arms and honey, I've got a lot. It keeps the smell longer. TBD, let me know if you guys use perfume oils, but this is a really nice scent. It's super unique. I think that it works for women and men, which is what I was going for, but I'm still kind of looking for that perfect scent. I do like this one. I've been wearing it a lot. It has a really, really unique scent. It doesn't last as long as I would like. I don't know. Tell me some recommendations down below for like a good unisex scent that is warm and spicy, a little citrusy, I don't know, maybe the scent just doesn't exist, but so far, Ball d'Afrique is a favorite and Gypsy Water is a fail. So my last product favorite is from a brand that I talk about on the channel all the time, which is Nude Sticks, and this is in their highlighter shade, Bubbly BB. Oh, that's the wrong side. I wasn't sure if I was going to like this highlighter because I already love their other highlighter that's in the shade Hey Honey, but I was mistaken. This highlighter is amazing. It is in between a peach and a gold shade, so that's a champagne, Rudy. And it just looks so beautiful and natural on the skin. I, I just, their highlighters are everything to me. The only thing that I will say about their highlighters is that they do stay tacky all day long, but a part of that is that it's what gives it that really natural looking glow. I feel like if it were to dry down, it would kind of just look flat. So just be aware of that if you have your hair down. Bubbly BB, really, really nice color. The full size ones come with a brush on the other end, which they actually work very, very well. They're like a flat top kabuki brush. And I just love everything that they put out. So Bubbly BB, totally a win. And if you guys saw my most recent declutter, you'll know that this definitely made the cut when I got rid of quite a bit of highlighters. Okay, two random favorites and then we'll be done. This is my giant ass self massager. Don't get any ideas, it's a neck massager. This, I actually got the idea from Jaclyn Hill. So my husband has really bad back problems and usually has to go to physical therapy and a chiropractor for them. So I got him this and he doesn't really care for it. And so it's mine now. This basically wraps around your neck and it has these little prongs in it that move in a circle, you can see them there. And just massage your shoulders and your back and your neck. It also has a heat set and it has a couple different speeds and the strength that it'll kind of push into your back. I got it on Amazon and it was worth every single penny. It's honestly not that expensive to basically have a freaking massage at home. And if you're stressed or you feel like your neck is super tight or whatever, this is the perfect thing. Like I'm telling you, it just brings me so much joy. If I'm like watching TV, I'll put it on or right before bed or something like that, just to relax myself. I know it's kind of huge, but honestly, it's worth it. It feels so relaxing and it really helps with neck and shoulder tension. Last time we had our favorites, I also added in a music favorite at the end and we're gonna be doing that in every favorites video from here on out. And so my favorite song of January was Good Days by SZA. I wish I could put the songs in my video, but I will get copyright struck, so don't wanna do that. But if you have not listened to SZA, which at this point I'm sure you have, you absolutely must. Control is one of the best albums in my opinion ever made and was my favorite album the year that it came out. She just has such a way with words. Her voice is so beautiful and angelic and her lyrics are top notch. They, they just take you there. 
they take you there. And this is a single off of hopefully her next upcoming album. It's so good and I think it's the perfect song to listen to right now while we're still dealing with the pandemic because the message in the song is that she still believes that good days exist. And I know that that's kind of hard for some people to think about right now, but it's a really, it's a really beautiful song and it makes you feel all the feels. So I will link the Spotify page for her down below. I think the next couple videos I do, I'm looking at my calendar here. I'm going to be talking a lot about skincare. I'm going to talk about the best makeup for tretinoin beginners because I know that that's something I've been asked to do a lot. I'm going to talk about my eczema journey just because I feel like there's a lot that I want to share with you and, and tips and help, especially while we're in the winter. We're going to talk about you know, fungal acne. And of course, we're going to continue to do my makeup declutter. So stick around. I can't wait to see you guys in the next video really soon. And I will talk to you then.